Hey everybody, thanks for joining me tonight. It is February the 28th. I'm not sure when this video is coming out, but as of recording this, it is the 20th of February. I planted the seeds on February the 14th. So it's been two full weeks, and as you can see, the germination rate has been really good, especially compared to last year. Last year was a disaster. This year, well, the opposite. Now there are a few stubborn seeds here and there, particularly the super hots. That's not uncommon though. Um, I might give them two, maybe three more weeks. And if they don't sprout, either I'll just give up on them or I'll replant them and see how they do. That should give them some time to catch up and still produce at the end of the year. If you didn't see my last video, it describes the, the biggest mistakes I made last year. And that was basically the soil. And that was just me being impatient and inexperienced. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. Some of these seeds sprouted after four days. Yeah, four. So you can see a lot of these have a good head start on the other plants. Now they did get a little leggy, which I'm not sure why. I thought I had the light intense enough and low enough to prevent that. Now there's an easy fix for this. You can bury the pepper plants up the stem. Pepper plants will actually form a root system and the portion that you bury. So, like I said, easy fix. This tray here is practically ready to start transplanting into the three inch pots, which is where they'll stay until they go outside mid-May. And after I do that, I'm going to start fertilizing them with liquid fertilizer. I like miracle Grow tomato plant food. There are several of them out there that are just fine. I just like this one. It's easy to mix up and easy to apply. As usual, I will be bottom watering. I find that bottom watering is a little safer. Once they've gotten to this point, I don't like to saturate the surface of the soil. That just promotes bacteria and fungus growth, which, as you know, I had a problem with last year. I just want to give you a quick update. Hopefully I'll be getting more videos out more regularly here really soon. And I will go into more detail on the exact varieties I have. There are 18 varieties here, which is a very small amount, but I have a very small urban garden with very little room. So I gotta work with what I'm given. One of these I have never had luck with. And as you can see, this year is turning out to be no different for the seven pot bubble gum. I cannot get those plants to save my life. I've tried to order them before, they're always out. And I've never had luck growing them. Cross your fingers for me this year because they're here, they just haven't sprouted yet. Thanks again for joining me and being patient with me. And I will see you guys on the next one.